Hi and welcome back for another segment of infrared heaters. We're going to be talking about infrared heaters being safe, being healthy, and being patriotic. First, they're safe. Unlike your traditional combustion-based space heaters, which are the number one cause of fires in America, infrared is non-combustion based, cannot start a fire. So infrared is the safest form of heat there is. Though it's safe, there are certain precautions that you have to take. One is, you cannot use a three-prong adapter on the end of the heater because they just aren't made to handle that much wattage. The heater's output is 1500 watts and these adapters just aren't made for that much. So do not use a three-prong adapter. Also, with the outlet, it's very important that the outlet is three-prong and is grounded. And when you put the plug from the heater into the outlet, it can't be loose. If it's like real sloppy or loose, then that means you have a bad connection. And you'll have what's called arcing. For example, in the outlet, you'll have two pieces of metal, and then you have the two prongs from the heater. And when you put the heater into the outlet, the metal needs to touch. And if you have a loose fit, they may not be touching. So you'll have arcing going on in between there, and that could be dangerous. So make sure you have a snug fit, and it needs to be a grounded outlet. Also, you need to be careful as to the extension cord. We recommend that you never use an extension cord. I had one uh, person come in and she had an extension cord like this that she had a heater plugged into. It started smoking and was very close to catching fire. It melted down completely. Do not use an extension cord. If you have to use an extension cord, use a higher grade cord, a heavy cord, that would be used for appliances. It's known as an appliance extension cord. They're shorter in length and they're very heavy gauge, so they would work. Also, never use a power strip like this. Power strips also are not designed to handle the 1500 watt surge that could come with an infrared heater. Okay, like if you have a lightning strike or something like that. So don't use a power strip either. So to recap, in order to use an infrared heater as safe as possible, it's always important to, drug, to uh, plug the plug directly into the outlet in the wall that is grounded. All right, let's move on now to the next segment. We're gonna be talking about healthy. Infrared heat is healthy. Every other heat source besides infrared is combustion based and that means it dries the air out. It takes the moisture out of the air. And when you take the moisture out of the air, you wake up in the morning, you might have a dry throat, you walk across the carpeting and you get a shock. So your heat sources like oil, gas, propane, wood, coal, and so on, kerosene, they're all combustion based and they take the moisture out of the air and uh, it's not healthy because uh, in order to have a healthy air in your home, you need to have a good amount of moisture, which is natural in the air, as well as oxygen. The oxygen level needs to be higher. So if you have dry air, not only does it dry your throat out and you get a shock, but it also dries your skin out and so on. As far as it being uh, the oxygen level being healthy, if it is, if you have uh, someone in your family that has breathing difficulties like allergies, asthma, COPD, uh, uh, asthma, um, they will benefit because the oxygen level is higher. Also, infrared helps people with, with arthritis. And we've had, uh, we've had a, a nurse claim and tell us that she has patients, patients that do better with infrared heat that have arthritis. So we've had a number of people share that with us as well. So whatever your health issues is, certainly to have healthy air in your home is so important. That's why infrared is, the, is also not just the safest, it's also the healthiest form of heat there is. All right, let's move on to the, the third segment, and that is that infrared heaters are patriotic. You might think, well, how is an infrared heater patriotic? Well, in two ways. Uh, first off, almost every infrared heater sold in America is made in China, almost 100% of them. I wish we could make them here in America, but if we were having them made here in America, I don't think people would want to pay six or $700 to buy a heater that they can buy for only $200. The way that I look at it is this. I would rather spend $200 buying a really good infrared heater made in China 
than to spend $3,000 a year buying oil from the Middle East. Another way to look at it is, I would rather heat my home with American-made electricity than to heat it with foreign oil. So there you go, infrared heat. It's safe, it's healthy, and it's patriotic.